because as you learn where the energy flows is, that's where they're also flowing. Now, the energy flow is related to the organs and the organs are related to the muscles. So there's a triad. And so you can see the link that you've got an organ, an energy flow and a muscle. And on that energy flow, there are certain points. The good thing about amber is you go to squeeze an area. You don't have to be that specific. And, and what Dr. Atsumi taught us all those years ago was the points were important, but it's the tissue around the, the points that's even more important. And then, of course, the way you move the tissue around is even more important. And we actually send electrical energy by squeezing through the tissues of the body and to the organs and to the muscles. My forearm on there, I'm applying a squeeze. The squeeze and the move go together. And if the squeeze and the move go together, I can be really light. But in Japan, you can go to lots of places where you can get the treatment, lots actually. And they go regular to maintain their wellness. Whereas if you're on your knees and you're on your toes, you can see that if I pressed more on one side and more on one knee, then James starts to move that way. As a consequence, if I turn my head and turn that way, he goes that way. I'm not increasing any pressure here. The person could be getting a problem somewhere else. So one muscle tight here might mean that your shoulder's not sitting in the right position. So you could be getting shoulder pain, headaches, neck tension from something that's going on way down here. And not only the structure can be affected because inside of the structure, we've got all of the organs. So when the hard frame of the skeleton isn't sitting in the right position, that's going to affect the organs on the inside. That's going to affect the breathing, digestion, whole host of things when this is when this is going on. So as I'm rocking and changing the weight ratio on both knees and both toes in that circular action, your hands don't have to do anything. The motion just comes through the body. So these are what you want to get out because these little energy flow blockages are stopping that energy going to that organ and the organs it connects with. But on a more local level, it's stopping that muscle work. And so that's what's giving you the tired legs. It could be giving you edema, swelling in the ankles. So if one's tighter than the other, your foot isn't working properly, then your knee doesn't work properly, then your hip doesn't work properly. And we start to get remote symptoms that could be as far as his opposite shoulder, because that needs to work with the opposite arm, rotating around the spine. And if you get a shoulder problem from something tight down here, which you might not understand. Come on, any weakness in the body can create a full distortion. So when I'm just working one muscle, we always work with the muscle, but with a global thought, how, how we're changing the whole picture, not just the area that, that we're working on. Muscles also relate to organs. So we've got an energy channel, the kidney, goes to the kidney organ and also relates to a muscle in the hips. So if you were clearing the kidney channel out, you would work these muscles better that could be releasing a hip problem. Or you could be getting rid of a urinary problem or an infection that the body has more energy to throw off. So this combination is always taking place and you need to understand some of that to reinforce. You're not just pressing here. It's, you're pressing very scientifically. And as you learn more and more, you'll start to understand the importance of some of those. And that's where Atsumi says, if you use your body correctly, you've always got power. If you don't use your body correctly, you've got to use strength. As I rock forward, my fingers start to move into the muscle. And that's what we want. It doesn't matter whether it's from dietary or from strain, repetitive strain or whatever, or a pathogen that we breathe in, such as a virus, whatever organ it attacks, it will send messages around to the back of the spine, to those uh, points that I, I said were coming down the spine. It'll send messages to there and then the brain. The brain has to make adaptions and the spine makes adaptions on the nerves that feed those organs. Now, the related muscles to those organs will either be too strong or too weak. I'll use on different parts of the body, but I can use the thumb and the thin are pattern to here and, and work that away. If, if the muscle's tight, it can drag on the nerve. And so when, when I straighten my arm and bend my arm, the nerve doesn't go long and short. It glides in the tissue that moves around it. So if I've got inflammation and I've got strain in the muscle fibers, it drags the nerve. And if the nerve gets dragged, I get pain.